Good morning, grandkids. Well, this is the day before Halloween, and this is Cheryl's, Grandma Cheryl's bookshelf series, which is always on Fridays when I do it. So this will be for tomorrow, for Halloween, but you'll be seeing it on Friday, because I assume you might be busy on Halloween or watching spooky movies or playing spooky games. So I'll be re reading to you throughout the day and this evening. You can watch them when they're up uploaded or watch them at any time that's convenient for you. Uh, I hope I saved the two best ones for tonight. So you do what you wish to do with them, okay? Let's start with the Doors of the Spirit. The ancestors are among us. They are never farther away than the waiting door. The ancestors are not departed. The dead are not under the earth. Their spirits are in the restless wind, in the fire's voice, in the foot smoothed step. Pay heed to these things, and you will know your absent kin. Pay reverence through gift and prayer. Acquaint the ancestors with your affairs, with your comings and goings, with your blessings and trials. From the waiting door comes your protection. Heed the spirits. We are the guardians of your hearth, teachers of wisdom, counselors of fortune, seers of fate. Each bone is a door through the wall of the world. Each bone is the road with wisdom and power of the travelers. Each bone is the ghost fence that guards us from evil. Honor the ancestors upon your hearths, within your halls, in the community of your temples, in the solitude of your tombs. Guard your ancestors from beasts, from thieves, from profane priests and sorcerers. Let no creature steal your spirits for the plundered hearth is dis diminished and the plundered tomb is shamed. Live in one world with your spirits. Honor the spirits within and without you. Do not grieve for the dead. Take shelter in their arms and pay heed to their words. Later on today, grandkids, I will read you another book. The next one we will be reading is The Axe Man. Bye-bye, grandkids.